So you've been a soldier for nearly 30 years, ready to die for your country, putting yourself in the front line. What do you think of wars now that you've got a bit older? Is it still the same mentality? You're there to do a job? Or do you look at things a bit differently? If probably I'd known what was going to happen to this country, I signed on, as I said, 15. And then slowly, it's not a country I like anymore. That's all. How so? Because of what's happening. Um, I'm not racist, but with this immigration stuff and everything, I put my life on the line for my people. They've come here. They take the slots of our people, soldiers on the streets. They get the accommodation. They get this, they get that. Ours are still running around trying to take anything that's given to them. You've seen that Bibby Barge and stuff. Oh, it's not good enough for us. Our guys would have that. Gladly. The soldiers on the streets. So me, if they want to come here, you know what? Let's start a new unit. Let's put them all in the unit and say, right, go and fight for this country. Let's see how much comes out of that. I'll tell you something. Not a lot. Okay. Brand new mobile phones. Bank accounts. Our soldiers haven't got that. Do you think Britain's getting weaker? Britain with the... I don't know what to make of it. It's so bad. The leadership we haven't got. How many prime ministers we had in the last couple of years... It's all about themselves. All about themselves. They look after each other and the rest, sod it, let them fend. But they can't do enough for these, the immigration that's going on. They want a mixed race society by 2030. Okay. How did the world, um, world, uh, what do you call it, um, economic forum? Why do they want rid of eight billion people in this country? Not this country, in the world. To get it down to something like yeah, eight hundred de million. Depopulate. Why is that? Easier to control. Exactly. So why? Are they using chemtrails in the sky? You know the chemtrails? Mm. You know what they're about? Of course. Yeah. The country needs to wake up. It's already too late, by the way. But you know what? You might be able to help save something. The country is absolutely screwed. Totally. Yeah, but they don't even now they don't even want men anymore. They're trying to take okay, away masculinity, they're trying to promote fucking trans movement. They're trying to weaken man. They're trying to weaken people and we're already fucking weak. And well, people are soft or not because the power of the people is so fucking strong. Yeah. If people unite, they can fight against anybody. That's, that's what I would doesn't happen though. No. What have I been saying? It doesn't happen though. No. I still go, you know, and mm. tell people you know, that this is going on. You know, everything, you know, the, the child trafficking, everything. That's the biggest. I'm on all of all, yeah, all yeah. of it. But you know what? You can mention it on TV. But instead of them coming up with this, um, the stories, they'll mention it, but they'll never go into it. No, they'll mention it and deflect it with another shaky exactly. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, what, you know, oh. that's exactly <clears throat> what goes on. You want to stop the immigration... Put me in charge of it. I'll do exactly what the Aussies do. And it's work for them. They won't do that. So Ellen Braverman has got no idea. It comes up with words and fancy. Not just her, by the way. All of them. One after another. Talk. 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 Change the policy. Change. Change. You know what? Are you telling me that this country 
could defend itself against the Germans as we did in the Second World War. We can't stop some Mickey Mouse guys coming across in, you know, um, rubber boats. Now, you turn them around, he's taken back. The fact is that it's everywhere. So they're flooding the market and saying, oh, well, you know, um, no, the bad weather's come in, which is a godsend, I hope. Um, and then they whinge and whine when a boat gets turned over. I read something yesterday that there was 800,000 coming to the UK to start a war. Yeah. Well, there probably is, because whether it's 800,000 or not, the fact is, my, me, you see the floating barges, mm -hmm. and they then put them into the hotels and so on. And they build in extra prison camps. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be the likes of us that go in the prison camps and the barges, and they'll take over. They'll have the mixed race, which is what they want, and they have the controllers, Klaus Schwab and the rest of them at the top. Think about it that way. Yep. Vaccines. How many people have gone? Why do they want rid of all those people? They've already said it. Then That's not hidden. They want the world population to be down by 8 billion by 2030. Oh, of course, million percent. That leaves you 800,000 800, world population. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it's 8 point. 8.8 billion, something like that. You look at Bill Gates, he's not, and that, he's not a fucking doctor. No, he's buying up all the land, isn't he, yeah. in the States? Why is he buying the land? It's fucking scary, and people think you're a conspiracy theorist, but this causes They're deeper... Not conspiracies. What they need to do is, they need to wake up, okay, and say, you know what? Why would anybody say that as a conspiracy theory? It's not. It is actually happening. That's the, they, they don't want to believe it. it. Control. You've seen all this stuff down on, um, you know, the, the, the 5G. Yeah, 5G. Totals. You know anything about that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. They've got all the 5G, right? Oh, your computer. No, got, never. Got nothing to do with that. It's got to do with control. 15 minute cities. Trust me. Why are those lampposts 30 metres apart, thereabouts? Because it's, uh, it's only, yeah, the, with the little aerials on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is about control. 20 mile an hour now in Wales, all the villages, control. Mm -hmm. All the motorways, 50 miles, controlling you, making you do what they want, electric, getting you ready. Electric cars. The if there's no electric cars. If there's electric Elec cars, they can shut you down any time. You know why they got electric cars? Electric is free. You know that. They're charging Electric's you in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. It's free. So they've got electric cars. The whole law, if you could just get the people to actually wake up and say, Christ, you know, it's all conspiracy. And before long, it's going to be just too late. And that's the problem. Yeah. Because it's already very late. Mm -hmm. But all the people who are lying in their own nests, all of them, they're okay. Because they'll be the ones that survive. Did you ever feel now that you're seeing things differently? Do you look back and feel as if you are part of the system? Yeah. Because you're just a number who's been then controlled, conditioned to uh, their own yeah. program to do. Yeah. Who are you fighting for when you question well, it? They're, they're bringing in people, aren't they? They haven't no clue who they are. Mm -hmm. So who's in charge of our borders? Because the people they're bringing in, they don't know. What do you think needs to change? Well, the whole of the establishment. And, you know, at the moment, I, I don't know what can change now because it's so late in the day. Um, but it's funny, you don't see many, if any, people who've led properly, you know, maybe ex-officers of some form, have got a bit of knowledge of the world. It strikes me, you know, and I'm, I say I'm not a racist, 
but you've only got to look at all the TV football presenters and rugby and this, that, and the other. They've changed it to all female, uh, you know, and uh, the, the, the colour side of it. Why is that? If you're good enough for the job, you have the job. Yeah, they're just trying to normalise It's just stuff. everything is going down the same route as they want it to do. Everything. 